messing around on tours all year. Um, did a brief tour with Make Doing Men on your way down to South by Southwest, and then you finished up the tour with the Deer Hunter a couple weeks ago. And you're on tour with Touche Moray, and then you're jumping back on tour with Touche Moray and Make Doing Men. Um, can you talk a little bit about the experience of playing with those different kinds of bands? Because, I mean, they do kind of, that's a, that's a pretty big range. Yeah, it's definitely a big range, but I think it's, I think it's cool it works that way because we don't have to limit ourselves to play with like a, a certain type of band or something. So it's cool. I, I like playing with all different types of bands. And we always have. Yeah. Yep. Where, like, do you, where do you guys see yourself fitting into all of that? I mean, have you, have you found it challenging to play in, in front of the kind of crowds that those sorts of diverse bands might attract? Or do you... Yeah, I mean, there's some there's some bands that like their fans just won't like you. Yeah. And they're like older maybe. And, but. Uh, it's definitely fun to just try to win a win, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's more or less what the Dredge is for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did Deer Hunter or Dredge have like that? Dredge. Dredge. Really? It's oh. funny that you even asked that question. <laughs> well, it's, I feel like Deer Hunter is at that point now, and Dredge kind of dropped off the, yeah. the radar for a little bit. It became apparent. Really? <laughs> Interesting. To Dredge, at least. Yeah? Yeah. But, but I mean, everyone was nice. Yeah, I'm sure. Great. Yeah, I'm sure. Everyone was great. But uh, so the. the the crowd was more for, I'm guessing, for you guys and Deer Hunter as the tour went on, or was it? I, mean, I, I mean, a lot of people were for Deer Hunter and. and I for mean, Dredge it. still drew. Yeah. They, they just drew when they played. They didn't draw people to say the whole show. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. All right, so um, you guys, I, you've only been around since about 2008, yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I mean, relatively new in terms of you know where we are with the music and the scene and everything right now. Yeah. Um, are you guys at all surprised by the reaction you've gotten? come into an area you maybe haven't played before yeah. uh, and, and specifically speaking like when you guys came through with Make to a Man that was one of the craziest top shows. moments of my life yeah, yeah that was one of the cool. craziest shows I ever played out of out of state yeah yeah that I mean, was really cool I mean it's definitely a huge surprise because we just started we were just playing in the basement and uh, we started touring because we wanted to try it and kids actually like it so it's pretty amazing so yeah right yeah right on all right so um Let's talk a little bit about the, I guess, resurgence that we're seeing in the independent, independent, independent music scene. Sort of, you know, no sleep, top shelf. <clears throat> Labels like that are at the forefront, and then every, you know, obviously the bands that are under those umbrellas are sort of yeah. swept up in the whole thing. Um, so there's definitely like a sense of community and definitely. unification that hasn't been hasn't been around for a really long yeah. time. Um, you know, you guys are sort of at the center of that too, with bands like Tidal Fight and Tiger's Jaw and Make Doing Man and such. Um, can you talk about how and when all of that that little micro scene sort of started and how it sort of spread? Well, for us, um, it started, I guess, when we signed No Sleep and we met like all those. When we started touring, we met all, like, all these incredible bands that became like our best friends. So it's. Very quickly. Like, yeah, and just like the click, like all these bands because we're all. More or less, our first tours with Transit and Over, and I feel like they're. Not like pioneers, but they're huge in the scene right now. And they kind of introduce us to people, and we introduce ourselves to people. I don't know. And we've always known like Tuttle Fight, and that helps knowing yeah. them. So they introduce us to people too. I mean, Tiger Straw. Yep. We wouldn't really know Tiger Straw more than Tuttle Fight. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this is the community. It's like Especially the coolest part about all of this, really. Because like, we made so many good friends and met. Listen to so many new bands we like love now. Right. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, do you feel like this is something that's been a long time coming? Like, it's been building towards yeah. what's going on now? Yeah, I do. And I think it's I think it's cool that people take notice of, like, our, our, our friends' bands and just, yeah. like. We're more or less just friends. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's weird because it's, it's hard not to notice because everybody's talking about everybody else. It's a very. It's true. Um, it's cool. It's very cool. It's a very open it. sort of, you know, nobody's in it for themselves. It's yeah. everybody's in it for everybody else, which is exactly. awesome, you know. From what it's we just, hear, it's, it's like it was back in the day. Like yeah, yeah, for sure. Drive through in the two, like early 2000s and stuff. Yeah, that's, um, he and I were just talking about it because we're, we're going to be 30 this year. So we've been really? coming to this venue. You guys look young. Way younger, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we've, nice. yeah, no uh, we've been coming to this venue for what, 15 years now? Yeah. Since Holy. Shoot. At least, so I mean, I don't know how many <laughs> how many nights we've wasted behind, you know, hanging no, out here talking. Not, wasted, to, not yeah. wasted, but like how many nights we spent back here talking to bands like Goldfinger and, and yeah, you yeah. know bands like that when when all of that was going on, the big Scott Punk's yeah. Suicide Machine, which will be our next or, step. 
in the band. We're gonna... Scout Punk? Yeah, yeah. right on. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds natural. Maybe. Yeah, we get some. No horns though, just like the guitar. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, they did it. Like reggae punk. So yeah, there you go. Machines kind of thing. There you go. <laughs> um, so I mean, like you know, with it seems like it's been sort of a I don't want to call it meteoric, but it's it's been a very rapid sort of expansion as far as what No Sleep is doing, what Top Shelf is doing, and Run for Cover, the bands that are all involved in that. Yeah. Do you think that's something that can actually sustain itself, or is there, you know? I definitely think. I, I as you can tell, it's just growing, which is cooler. It's, it's just really hasn't slowed at all. Yeah, if anything, it's growing and stopping, I feel. Yep. If everyone just keeps supporting each other, then that's all we really need to just keep expanding. So you need that internal support as much as you need the external support. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so I guess the, the larger implications of this realignment, I guess, because that's that's what it feels like, because there was a, a long expanse of time where everybody was just kind of floundering and everybody was very much for themselves and it was everybody was trying to do the commercial thing and yeah. radio plays and stuff like that and that doesn't seem to be much of a priority anymore which is kind of cool and then Sorry. you know since you guys are involved with no sleep um you know where do you see this heading and what, what do you think it means for the independent music scene as a whole i don't know i i don't, I don't just know. think if your band is good at making music it'll come naturally you know to try for it or something i don't know yeah as long as you're genuine and you, you like uh playing music for the right reasons. It's cool that everyone that we're friends with is on the same page. Yeah. No one's trying to get rich quick or whatever. Right. <laughs> just kind of doing whatever. Yeah, in the in the chat I had with Evan, we were talking, and we talked the whole night. It was just the interview that we did. Yeah. We ended up having a, a, a bunch of different little conversations, and he was saying, like, you know, all it takes is the one band to really kind of screw everybody over and, and make that one bad decision, but it seems like everybody's very much on the Level same head, page, and, yeah. and yeah. that's not going to happen, which is... It's kind of cool to, to hear that from people that are involved yeah. in it. Yeah, definitely. Um, but, you know, bigger labels have been really slow to adapt to how things have changed. They're clueless, yeah. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> clueless. Um, but labels like No Sleep are not only keeping up, but they seem to be ahead of the curve. I agree. You know, what's, you know, what do you think Chris is doing that, that's allowing him to do that? And, you know, <laughs> and, and you know, what's that like to experience, I guess, from the inside out, kind of seeing it? What's cool about Chris is he just, he just uh, signs bands he, like, loves. He and likes to listen to. Yeah, he likes to listen to, and he hopes other people listen to, mm -hmm. and it works, and, which is a gift, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah that's a, I think that's the main thing, our bands just, uh, big labels just look for, like, hits, and what sound like hits, but it's really what it is, it's just, it's more of a connection. It's what we care about, how we grew up with music. Right. It's more about that than what they look at it as, and that's what they need to figure out and learn from labels like No Sleep and Run For Cover. I guess Chris is like that too. I think age might play a part of it, like he grew up in, in the scene, I guess, the whole scene, growing <laughs> a part of it. And like big label heads are, they don't know. But Chris knows and other people know that it's just about bands making cool music and supporting each other, like you were saying. And I guess if you support each other long enough and you're good enough, you get places in 